I'm Alana, Health with Alana Tackett, and I want to share with you today Miss Gigi. She's awesome. She has the most marvelous cafe here in Kansas City, and she has hosted and set up this whole awesome Midwest Soul Festival, this vegan festival here in Swope Park. Just want her to tell you just a little bit about her cafe, who she is, and her mission. Thank you. Thank you so much. And thank you for being here at the sixth annual Midwest Soul Veg Fest. Every year we bring the community out and we teach all about allowing food to be your medicine. Love it. Look at the turnout today. Wasn't that amazing? Great turnout. Wasn't that amazing? Yeah. Even if you're vegan, even if you're not vegan, even if you're not plant based, we're open to anyone that just wanted, curious, right? Yeah, absolutely. Hey, what is this all about? And that's what we saw today. Yeah. All of those folks. And right now, people are really, they want to take their health back into yeah. their own hands. And that's what Midwest Soul Veg Fest is all about. Also, I know you mentioned Gigi's Vegan and Wellness Cafe. Yes. We're located at 1103 Westport Road in Kansas City, Missouri. Well, we specialize in wellness, 100% living foods. What is living foods, you ask? <laughs> yes. Foods that is cooked under a certain temperature that is still alive. Look at this beautiful one here. Body's alive and vibrant and she's glowing. Those are the foods that we should eat. That's what Gigi's Vegan and Wellness Cafe specializes in. We have herbs, cold pressed shoes. We also teach wellness classes there. And we have delicious food. Oh, very delicious. Oh, yeah. I went there for my 50th birthday. My daughter took me, and it was the best. I mean, I've not tasted anything better. Thank you. It was Thank you. Yeah. One thing, Gigi, that America has some chemicals in their food as compared to other countries. You know, I'm going to say this only because I watched a documentary last night. They are trying to kill us. The documentary by John Lewis, which is here today, it was so, I mean, it was really inspiring. If you haven't seen it, you should watch that documentary because I think it just summed it up. They're yeah. trying to kill us. And, and the reality of it is that if you go to other countries, they do not, the food is, has no chemicals in it, are barely any, Right? Yeah. In other countries, but here in America, I just believe that they care about what? Themselves. They care about the money. And they truly don't care about us. So we have to take our own health into our own hands. Just like I had to when I was diagnosed with colon cancer. I self-heal through food and allowing it to be my medicine. I love that. And this is what yeah. we have to do for ourselves. Yes. Because, can I say it again? They are trying to kill us. <laughs> Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately. But, you know, I just truly want to say whoever's listening to you, and I know that you've been inspiring and you've changed lives and you've inspired people all over the world. And thank you for interviewing me. Oh, <laughs> thank you for so glad. But, uh, and being here today and seeing yeah. you today, you know, just yeah. keep up all the good work. Oh, and keep inspiring and keeping people. I say, keep being the healer you are. Aw, you too. Thank you so much. I appreciate your time.